Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Spiritual Dowsy. I'm Dowsy LeMay. Thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me wherever you are in the world. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch these videos. Uh, if you're new, welcome. I hope that these videos are helpful and used for your highest good and that they're beneficial for you. And for all you other beautiful souls who have been following me and returning and watching my videos and liking and commenting, thank you so much for your love and support as I continue here on my own spiritual path. Just glad that these are helpful for you. So today I want to discuss the concept of people saying, I want to get back to normal. I laugh at this because I don't see what was normal about the way we were living. All right. At some level, most people were probably super conditioned to believe that the dysfunction and the, the, the unbalanced way of our society was normal. So before I go on a a, a, a rambling rampage about this. Uh, I want to say that these are my truths and my experiences that have guided me down my own spiritual path and they don't have to be yours. So use your own discernment, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Okay. So what was normal? I want to get back to normal. I want to get back to normal. <laughs> what was normal about the way we lived? right? What was normal about the way our society existed as a collective, as humanity on this planet? What is, what was normal about it? Okay. In my perspective, it was highly dysfunctional, highly unbalanced and, and, and complete disharmony with the way that we should be living in. All right. So let's talk, let's look at it pre quarantine. You know, all those folks who say, ah, oh, God, I, I, I want to get back to normal pre quarantine. All right. Well, let's look at this pre quarantine type of normal that some people want to get back to, or a lot of people want to get back to. Right. Um, okay. Let's take us individually, right? Individually, we were living very unconsciously, right? Unconsciously unbalanced, dealing with one side or the other, being logical, not in the heart space dealing with all of our lower chakra issues, which is like, you know, your root chakra, your, your sacral chakra and your solar plexus, which is all about finding materialism, which is about finding security and safety, understanding your own sexuality, sexual expression, healthy sexual expression, healthy, uh, uh validation of your emotions, understanding who you are as a person, right? Understanding your identity, understanding your identity in relationships to other, uh, larger social groups, right? And we are highly unbalanced toward the masculine energy, right? Unconscious because we didn't know who we were. We had given our power away because you didn't know yourself. You were easily manipulated by those who were in power and that allowed you to become almost like a slave race. At some level, when you look at our, our structure at the way we are, we are almost like, looks like a slave race, right? In terms of, it is civilization, it almost feels like we are so barbaric in some level, even though we are technology advanced at some level, we live as a civilization that is very barbaric. If you ask me so right individually, what do we do? Most of us work lots, uh, uh, lots of hours, nine to five, right? Trying to earn an, an income to survive, right? To survive right? You are doing, you're earning an income so that you can survive and that you could put food on the table, that you can buy materialistic things that you can, that, that you can pay for health insurance, et cetera, right? Pay your taxes, et cetera, that you can pay for a loan on a mortgage, on a loan, on a car, all these different things. You are on this perpetual hamster wheel of buying, 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 buying to survive, right? Did you like that lifestyle? Do you like having to work tirelessly to the bone just to eat by and survive to have a quantity of life not a quality of life which may you know a facade of a quality of life right you have the work to pay for a health insurance policy that doesn't really pay for anything or doesn't cover anything and and that you the fact that you'd have to have money to buy to buy a health insurance policy so that you can get health care you as a being need to work to earn money so that you can have health care, right? And if you don't have health care, if you don't have money, you aren't able to get a job that pays enough, forget about it, right? The financial system in itself, right? Was a massive 
uh, uh, unbalanced hierarchy system, right? A lot of wealth to the top. The one percenters, the wealth gap, right, has drastically widened over the many, many, many years and has always been that way. And that you have the one percenters of this world who own more than 50% of the uh, wealth in the entire world. And the rest of the world is living below the poverty line, right? The vast majority of the population is living below the poverty line just to get by, right? Think about how many groups of people are repressed, how many different uh, uh, race, uh, different types of ethnic groups are repressed. How many? Uh, and, and think about you know uh, all the all the the the, the types of uh, I would say abuse to certain genders and certain races, etc. Right? Think about all of that. Think about the the mistreatment of women and children and and gays and and all the different types of ethnic backgrounds. Was that normal? Not in my eyes. That's not normal, right? Think about all the deaths that we have from starvation. 25,000 people a day dying from starvation. Is that normal? How about the wars that we have with other countries all for the sake of power, materialism, and, 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 and control? Billions of dollars spent on, all, on, on wars of killing people, right? Is that a civilization that's normal? Not in my eyes, right? Think about your food. How is your food manipulated? We can't get organic food from the ground without having it being sprayed or manipulated or having over chemical induced and, and injected into, into the food that has been processed, etc., right? That, and we know that a lot of those preservatives and, 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 and all those other chemicals that they use to harvest the food from the ground or from wherever causes cancer, yet it's acceptable, right? There is just so much dysfunction that you, can, you, you just need to take a step back and look at and you will realize that what you, were, what you thought was normal, what, you, what people want to go back to normal, that, I, that box was a conditioned state of being because that was all that you were told was supposed to be normal. That you were told that that's how things are supposed to be, right? That normal, that normalization of abuse and repression and working like a slave. You know, think about the slavery, right? Think about all that stuff. You know, slavery still exists today. It just, it's formed into something different, right? Look at the slavery of different groups of people, whether they be for a monetary purpose, whether to be for a workforce, whatever it may be, that is not normalized. But we've been conditioned to believe that was normalized and that the fact that people wanna go back to that makes me wonder how unconscious they are about themselves, right? It's because you've been unconscious about yourself that you've allowed these things to manipulate you to believe that that was what dysfunction was, was supposed to be normal for you. That the box that you live in because of what it's all that you have known is considered to be normal, right? You, you think about the healthcare system in itself, right? Is the healthcare system a, 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 a normalized um, thing for you, right? Where you have the pharmaceuticals coming up with drugs to help keep you on that hamster wheel of consuming those drugs because they want you to provide them income uh, uh, because you want to keep buying their drugs, right? They remove the symptoms. They don't remove, they don't actually cure anything, right? So I, I, I just want to bring that about because if you look that, I'm just giving you a few examples. You know, think, think of the earth, right? Because of our unconscious state and because of our, 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 inability to live in harmony with anything. We have polluted the waters, we have polluted the air, we have polluted this land. Think about the fossil fuels, all the plastic, the pollution, all the things that we do to this earth. We cannot live in harmony. Is that normal? No. We've killed animals, we've killed species, you know, all these different things, all because we were conditioned to believe that was normal. That is not normal, folks. It's not the normal way of being. It's just what we have been used to. And now that we are being told to stop this quarantine, we no longer have the outside world, that which has provided us the distractions to keep us away from looking at ourselves. 
no longer exists. So through this process, you yourself are being forced to look at yourself. You're being forced to wake up. You're being forced to look at yourself and say, are those things in your life important to you? And understand that this process is showing you the deep contrast in your reality today compared to what it was before, how not normal it was for us to live. That, 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 that allowing the abuse of women and children, allowing yourself to be manipulated and to work tirelessly to the bone just so you can pay for other people's things and to give them the benefit, all of that is being contrasted today so that you can finally say, enough is enough. I am waking up to this. I'm no longer going to be giving my power away. I am going to understand who I am as a person. You're moving into a different state of being, a different way of being, a different uh, energy that is based on love, compassion, unity, one that is collectively cooperative for the benefit of all of us, right? We lived in a state of being that was most slight, mostly described by living in the lower chakras. You were living in the root chakra, your sacral chakra, and your solar plexus, right? Those energy centers are all based around achieving materialism, materialistic things, safety, security, sexuality, unrepressed emotions, dealing with self-identity and confidence, self-love, power struggles, all of that, that's what our society was built on based on those lower three chakras. We are moving to the heart. We are transcending those areas by inwardly looking at them, understanding what is causing us to feel unsafe, understanding what is causing us to have unbalanced in our emotions, understanding about who we are as a person, finding our self-love, finding our confidence, finding what we are in relationship to our social structures, and moving into the heart. The heart-based structure of love, compassion, and unity, right? We are moving from the old stuff to something that's more heart-based and more centered around love and connection, right? You've been unconscious, unconnected to yourself. So you're being connected. You are finding that space that allows you to have the ability to connect with yourself and one another, to be able to find love and compassion for other people, right? You can't have the same old normal and want these new things because they don't match. Something has to be upheaved. Something has to let go. Something has to crumble, right? And if you are resisting the energy that is coming up, you're gonna have a difficult time because the upheaval is coming. You energetically are upheaving the old lower thoughts, lower thinking, lower beliefs, lower feelings, and replacing them with a higher level of thinking, feeling, and beliefs, and actions. Those are coming into the new, and through that has to have change. You have to see the old ways of being. You can't go back to the new, you can't go back to the normal, what you used to know, because you yourself have been calling for something better in your life. Think about this. You have been constantly wanting to get something more for your life. I truly believe that all of us have collectively been asking for this because deep down in your, within you, you've been calling for another way of being. One that is more connected, one that is more heart-based, one that's more equal, one that is more collectively best for all of us. The old way, what, you, what we, most people would consider the normal, is not normal and needs to fall away for us to go back to to, to move into a new space of being about love and compassion and connecting with the heart versus living in the mind about logic and not understanding the heart and connection and intuition, etc. Right? So I, I kin this to the metaphor of the pharmaceutical company, right? You get a disease, you go to the doctor, doctor says, well, we can deal with the pain and to help keep the symptoms at bay so that you can live somewhat of a, a, somewhat of a, a life without pain. They give you a drug and you're in a coma-induced, drug-induced life of just quality, you'd live in a quantity of life so that you can get by and live without the pain. And we are starting to wake up. We're starting to wake up from this drug-induced coma and we're saying, no more do I just want to deal with just the small symptoms of what I have going on. No more do I want to take these drugs to just to cope the, and to cover the true pain and suffering within myself to find out the cure. I want to know what the cure is and you're looking inward for it and you're finding what that is and you're realizing that the way that you have lived has all been a symptom of this one thing within you and you're finding that connection, you're finding the cure for yourself and you're realizing that the lifestyle that you've lived no longer fits with it. 
It has been all part of it and you were clearing that all out and you're moving into a new way of being. So I hope that rambling helps. I don't know. I just feel like the normal, what we used to know is not normal. And if you just take a bit of perspective, take a step out and see that box that you've lived in, that matrix, that, 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 that social constructed uh, box that we have been conditioned to believe is normal, it's far from normal and you are realizing that through this process and, and if you are calling for wanting to see a new normal, the likelihood is because you don't want to look at yourself. You don't want to feel the, the angst and the, and the, the un, uh, I would say uncomfortableness that, you are, that the inside energy is pushing upon you. And I, I highly recommend that if that's happening to you, take a moment, meditate, and give yourself love and look at that because that is what you need to go through and, and to give yourself an easier time to honor yourself in those emotions, to heal that so that we all can move further into a place that is a lot more beneficial. So I love you. Wherever you are in the world, understand we're going through this all. If you uh, like this video, subscribe. You know, leave a comment, like it, whatever. Reach out to me at spiritualdowsy uh, at gmail.com or on my other social platform at Facebook and, and Instagram at spiritualdowsy. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.